everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for future content. In today's video, I give you a review of my 2015 Infiniti QX70 after 45,000 miles. This review video will cover my 2015 Infiniti QX70 after 45,000 miles in terms of reliability, things I noticed like wear and tear and weird quirks. I'll also discuss common stuff that my two previous QX70 videos five reasons I love my 2015 Infiniti QX70, and three things I hate about my 2015 Infiniti QX70. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and take a drive into QX70 and talk about its reliability. Let's talk about reliability. My QX70 has been and continues to be a very reliable car. I've owned several Infinities from a 2010 G37 Coupe in Graphite Shadow to a 2013 IPL G37 in Molbeck Black with the Monaco Red Leather interior. Both of those cars were very reliable. My QX70 has the same 3.7 liter V6 engine as the G37. I don't expect any type of mechanical issues with my QX70 for at least for the next 45,000 miles. Just as long as I keep up with maintenance, I think my QX70 will be fine. Let me know in the comments section if you'd had any mechanical issues with your FX37 or QX70 before 80,000 miles between the model years of 2013 and 2017. The 3.7 liter V6 engine sounds the same today as the day I first drove my QX70 off the lot. It produces 325 horsepower at 7,000 RPM and 267 pound-feet of torque at 5,200 RPM. There hasn't been that much of a change in performance the last 45,000 miles. It's surprisingly responsive for an SUV of its size. accelerates and handles like a sports car. It shares the same Nissan FM platform as the rear-wheel drive 370Z. Without going into details about the platform, the engine center mass is shifted enough to the middle of the car giving it a weight distribution of about 50 to 50. However, the QX70 7-speed automatic transmission can be sluggish at times. That's expected with a curb weight of over 4,200 pounds and certain driving conditions. I do want to mention a few of the comments left in one of my two previous QX70 videos. Five reasons I love my 2015 Infiniti QX70 and one of them is from Pan. Considering to buy a used one, but wondering if the car is reliable or cost of ownership. My reply is that I'm coming up on four years of ownership. It's very reliable. The cost of ownership is reasonable. I DIY most of the scheduled maintenance, oil and engine air filter changes myself, except alignments, tire rotation, etc. I suggested buying one with low mileage and some warranty left. Velvet 9 replied, Pan, I have a 2013 model with about 62,000 miles today. It was called FX37 for 2013 year only, but it looks just like the current QX70 model in and out. I've been doing simple maintenance items at home as well as including front brake pad replacement performed once so far. Only thing I had to fix in the shop was a faulty spring in the fuel pump that made the fuel gauge stop working until fixed. Cheap spring but pricey to have the shop take it apart. So far so good. I haven't had that type of issue. My QX70 only has 45,000 miles so I guess that's something I need to look for around 
that um, 60,000 mile range. So as you can see from my recent multi-point inspection, everything is in the green with the exception of the engine air filter, drive belts, and differential. The battery tests out pretty good. The fluids are clean. The tires still have pretty good thread life. Right after I hit 45,000 miles, the next time I started my QX70, this notification appeared reminding me I need to have my tires rotated. The last time I had my tires rotated was right after I had some work done to the rear brake pads and rotors, which I will explain in a little bit. I'm headed to the Infinity Service Department to have my tires rotated and balanced. As I mentioned earlier, I did have some work done to the rear brake pads and rotors. I noticed around 37,000 miles, I had to press down on the brake pedal a bit more than before. So I had the brakes checked, and as you can see from a previous multi-point inspection, the rear brake pads were down to two millimeters. I had the rear brake pads replaced at 38,000 miles, and the rotors were resurfaced to remove any low spots in each rotor. It cost about $390. As a rule of thumb, rotors should be resurfaced when brake pads are replaced rotors eventually become warped over time. By resurfacing the rotors, the new brake pads will last longer and braking will be smoother. Recently, I noticed an occasional slight vibration from the steering wheel when I brake. Infinity Service recommended I should replace the front brake pads and resurface the front rotors before I hit 50,000 miles, but they did say I'm good for now. As far as wear and tear of my QX70 the last 45,000 miles, my QX70 has held up pretty well. My QX70 is garage kept, which is why the paint is in good condition. Waxing it a few times a year does help. The interior is in good condition from the dashboard, the maple wood accents, and headliner. The front passenger seat and rear passenger seats practically look brand new. However, the driver's seat does have some wear, which is expected. The last thing I want to mention about wear and tear in terms of the interior of my QX70 is the illuminated kick plates on the driver and passenger side. There is some minor scuffing of both illuminated kick plates, which is expected. As far as weird quirks, the only thing I notice is a slight warping of the vinyl around the illuminated kick plate on the passenger side. As you can see here, it looks like maybe the illuminated kick plate wasn't properly installed or maybe it's just this vinyl is just warped over time and it just popped out i tried pressing down on the illuminated kick plate but on a, it just didn't work so i may just have to use a rubber mallet to put it back in place that's going to wrap up today's 45,000 mile review video of my 2015 infinity qx70 i hope you like this video until next time i'll see you at the next video <laughs>